think it's a it's just the right moment for quote unquote nineties I mean, I think it, I think that it's it's like it's like anything else, you know. People, you have a lot of the um, younger artists and um, doing that thing, and their fan base, just like we were when we were younger, are starting to discover and explore other kinds of music. So you may have the six, seven, ten, twelve year old kid whose oldest sister, brother, cousin, or whatever, is finding a new, you know, old Drew Hill album for the first time, and like him, or somebody's playing it in that car, or whatever, and it's like, oh, what's that? Or, you know, they may hear some old Jodeci, or KC and JoJo, or Blackstreet, or True, or all the uh, other groups that we could think of, so it's kind of like, I don't know if, um, I don't know what happened for real, but people are just starting to gravitate towards kind of like, well, what was going on before now? Like, we hear these artists sing now, but where did these artists get their inspiration from? And it's and another thing is like, um, like uh, Drew Hill is kind of like, um, the coolest thing about being a part of this group is that we're able to, we're able to perform at the old school shows with the quote unquote old school acts because like we came in like right at the end of that era. It was like pretty much us like Edge and 112. They kinda of came in right around that era. Um and fortunately for us, it was a very diverse group of people that liked our music. Like I said, like Nokia said from eight to eight. Yeah. Now I think it's like from four to a <laughs> hundred and four. I see a little four year old like jamming to our, yeah. our music, little Layla. And um and basically um it's just it's just like awesome to be able to be, you know, do our music and be respected by, you know, like I said, the classic artists and a kind of classic, you know, um, 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 audience. And then to be introduced to a younger audience. And, you know, it like, you know, we went on like 106 Apartment Day and it was like, yeah, like we was Young Money or something. I was like, hey, <laughs> you know, and like, it was like, it was like, I, think, I think music just goes around, you know what I'm saying? And just like, like right now in the era when everybody's really into like reality shows, everybody went to real. You know what I'm saying? And I think when it comes to music, um, us, you know, being, you know, us as a group and the other groups that you named, that soulful singers. You know what I mean? People want to hear records that's more touching now. They want, you know, if they're going through something, if it's depression or what have you, you know what I mean? You, you, need, you need the medicine to help you get through it. You know what I mean? If it's something that you don't really know how to tell the person you love them, you need that record. You know, I'm just a fan. That's, that's the era that we're in. I'm a fan of real singing. And I'ma just yeah. keep it real, like, like you said, SWV, Jagged Edge, all of those people from that era. I, to me, that was you can still go to an SWV show or somewhere, you know, Jagged Edge, and, and see people really singing and stuff. The <laughs> you know, I mean, look, but it's so hot, though. Now, I mean, some of them, but I mean, right. for real, though, like this is the thing, yeah, like. And, and I just lay this out, and we can debate it tomorrow. Whoever wants to say some shit about it, I don't care. The great debate with Drew Hill. When, come see us. When it comes when it comes down to it, let's I start from like 2000. 2000 was really the big pop explosion. That's when you had everybody selling diamonds, just like what the fuck did they had to make up some new shit for selling ten minutes. Everybody's doing that. So. Before that, you know, you had your R&B going, so you got the diamond thing going with all the pop music, and then hip-hop came back real strong with your 50 Cent's and your M&M's and, you know, everybody like that. So it's kind of like the younger generation now is kind of caught in between pop music and hip-hop. So they don't really, it's like, it's almost like they got to skip a whole period of music to go back and and find out what was going on for real as far as the singing. That's why that's where you get a lot of those broken melodies and you know like these songs that have these flows that's more like rap music than it is R and B. The only thing that makes it R and B is that you know they throw a couple chords in there, but then you got these big pop hooks because it's like a little bit of confusion going on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like we had. R&B and hip hop, it's like I always point to the 80s, where you could listen to a radio station in the right. 80s and you hear Tribe Called Quest, you heard everybody had Phil Collins record, 
Then you might hear Anita Baker and whoever else. And you had that diversity. And right now, it's kind of like the diversity isn't there unless you got satellite radio right. or you listen to some internet radio stations or something like that. So and that void, know. that void is being filled by like the, the big name rappers. I mean, you know, Nicki Minaj needs some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she like straight singing on that joint. I mean, not singing, but singing. 